Hi, uh, this is a tutorial on how to use the uh, flammable liquids pumps, dispensing pumps, uh, in the flammable uh, liquid storage room at the Life Sciences Centre. You'll notice here behind the door there are two pumps, two flammable liquid pumps. One is rated for 95% ethanol, the other one is rated for 100% ethanol. You'll notice that it's actually written right on the pump itself, 95% ethanol. It's really important that you only use a pump for the designated uh, purity of your ethanol to prevent uh, cross-contamination. Right, so in order to use the pump, you grab one and you also grab the uh, adapter neck. Okay, these are the two things you'll need. And you'll proceed over to your, your drum. All right, so you'll notice here again, 95% ethanol, 95% ethanol. They have to match. So the first thing you do is you put the adapter neck on your extended pour spout. Right, so you place it over the pour spout and you turn clockwise until it's snug. All right, so that's the first thing you do. Then you proceed to put the pump tube into the drum itself, like this, simply lowering it. And you'll notice here that there's a, uh, a red flange, a red rubber flange. Okay, that's to sit snugly inside the neck adapter. Okay, you hold the pump steady and you turn this large dial clockwise Lefty, loosey, righty, tighty, so you're tightening it. So you're going to the right, okay, a few rotations. And what that does is it expands the flange until the pump is secure, okay? That's the first thing you do. And then what you do is you take this grounding wire and you attach it to the drum lip, like that. This is gonna prevent any sparks from happening, okay? So at this point in time, you're almost ready to dispense your flammable liquid. But one of the things you need to do first is you need to close the pressure valve on the pump itself. There's a small knob here, a black knob. And here again, you turn right, righty, tighty, loosey. Um, and you turn it all the way to the clockwise. And that closes the pressure relief valve in order to be able to charge the pump with some pressure. Okay, at this point, you take an appropriate secondary container in which you're gonna be dispensing. And you're gonna put your your dispensing hose into the canister. Okay, so at this point you're ready to go. So what you do is you, you pump the, uh, the lever a few times. One, two, three. And you'll actually hear and feel the pressure building inside the pump and in the canister itself. You do that a half dozen times or so and you're ready to dispense. Make sure that you're wearing your safety glasses and your lab coat because it is a, a pressurized pump. And then you're ready to dispense, you push down on the lever. Okay, in this case we probably didn't pressurize it quite enough. Add a little pressure. And dispense. All right, so you dispense slowly and if you start to run out of uh, pressure, you just simply add a little bit more pressure. And you fill your secondary container. When you're done, okay, making sure you try not to spill anything, First thing you do after you're done is you will release the pressure from the pressure relief valve. You might hear a little hiss, and that takes the pressure out of the pump and the canister. Okay? And then you will release your pump by turning counterclockwise this time. Okay? Release your clamp. And then you're going to carefully allow the drips, hopefully not to have too many drips, and you're going to allow the uh, fluid inside the, uh, the stem here to pour back into the drum. Okay, there's quite a bit of it, so you wanna let that flow back into the drum. Okay, a few little drips, not too bad. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna place the uh, pump here on the catcher tray for a few moments to catch any drips. Okay, uh, and then you remove the neck, adapter, and you seal your drum, and you seal your secondary container. Oops. And you're ready to go. Okay, thanks very much.